Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a short and quick comparison between the latest releases of the Linux Mint 21 and their default desktop environment. So on the left hand side here we've got the Cinnamon desktop environment. In the middle we've got the XFCE desktop environment and on the right hand side here we've got the Mate desktop environment there. Now starting off a little bit of a background for each of these guys here. So uh, Linux Mint 21 is indeed based off Ubuntu and it's not just based off Ubuntu but it is based off the long term service release of Ubuntu there as well. So you're going to get software and security updates for the next five years or so. So I like to say install once and run forever but really half a decade as opposed to forever there. Now starting off at a glance they do look similar. Now the reason for this is even though the on the very left hand side here is the Cinnamon desktop environment. Well, let me just uh, squeeze this for you so you can see it a bit better. There we go. Now yeah, so Linux Mint does have the Cinnamon desktop environment here. Uh, this is actually the in-house built desktop environment for Linux Mint. So the Linux Mint crew make them uh, itself. It's quite a good clean and crisp one. But what Linux Mint, the crew have done there is, even though they've provided a, uh, I guess a an available version through XFCE and Mate, they have kept the look and feel pretty similar, especially in considering uh, the, the taskbar down the bottom. So we can see the start menu, the LM link there, the, the gray bar down the bottom of varying sizes slightly shapes and colors there but otherwise much for much that's really similar in terms of how they work there now what we might do is have a look at the start menu for each of them now it will have the same applications pre-installed pretty much there and each and every one does allow you to type in and search for the application that you want so i've just used firefox uh, browser as an example there but you will see that each and every one of them has the uh, the categorization of apps options there. So again, this is the start menu for Cinnamon on the left. In the middle, this is XFCE, so the XFCE desktop environment. And on the right hand side, we've got the illustrious Mate desktop environment there, all with the same categorization of apps. Now you will obviously see a couple of key differences, which is the color of the brightness. Now, although Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition on the left chooses to utilize a, a beautiful dark mode there, Linux Mint uh, XFCE and Mate editions are just sort of a little bit more stock standard and bright and light. I prefer the dark mode purely just because it's better on one's eyes, but uh, this is really up to you for the most part. In terms of beautification though, I've got to say Cinnamon takes the cake followed by the Mate edition, really beautiful. And you can see all the options and you've got a lot of features there to choose from. And XFCE, this is actually a little bit more of a stock standard um, start menu of sorts so I'm not as proud of it to, to say the least now we'll go to the start menu I mean not the start menu just the desktop and we'll have a look at the menus there so what we call the desktop context menu so we just right click and have a look you've got all the same basic options I do like how XFCE has a uh, maybe a couple of extra ones including the colorization of the icons you can just see it a bit faster and easier there but all of them you can open up a terminal and that's what mostly keeps me happy there too. And you can create folders, create documents, all sorts of things for each of them there. I love it when Linux, uh, any Linux variety allows you to create a document, an empty document. Surprisingly, most <laughs> distros don't let you do this, like create a text document. It's the most important thing you need. You need to just pop a, a, a notepad file on your desktop uh, at short notice and I'm just glad that Linux Mint does that. It's just, um, I won't get into that any further now. Uh, you know what, speaking of we've got not getting into things any further, I don't want to open up too many apps and things until I've uh, shown you the RAM usage on boot up. Now take these values with a bit of a grain of salt, but uh, we're going to go to the nice lightweight HTOP system monitor here through the terminal just to make things even lighter. So the CPU is idling out for all of them beautifully. We can see Cinnamon uses the most, the 701 megabytes of RAM on boot up. Uh, we have XFC edition using uh, 535 megabytes of RAM on boot up and the Mate edition using a very similar amount of 538 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So the, the last two in the middle and the right use about the same amount of RAM on boot up. Whereas Linux Mint 21 Cinema Edition, certainly a little bit more uh, fully fledged in terms of 
graphical design uses about 150 megabytes more of RAM. So always something to, to keep in mind there. Now let's have a little bit of a look at the, the file managers and see what's going on here. These will be much of a muchness. Now they, they're keeping the same uh, colors and themes with the icons there. They do look very similar, but they are actually different. So the Cinema Edition of Linux Mint uses the Nemo file manager. In the middle, the XFC Edition uses Thuna. And on the right hand side, Mate uses the KJAR file manager. But really, they, like I say, they do all the same thing. Uh, of course, Linux Mint has customized them all to look green and mint, uh, that sort of color, spearmint, whatever the case, whatever you want to call it there. But uh, they've all got the same drag and drop functionality. They all allow you to uh, go to your places on the left hand side, for instance. So pretty much the same there. Now let's take a little bit of a look under the hood where we do expect some things to be similar if not exactly the same. So that is, uh, I'm talking about the kernel here. So Linux Mint uh, 21, uh, as it runs on Ubuntu and the long-term service release of Ubuntu, it is using the 5.15 kernel for each of them, as you can plainly see there. So this is good for later and greater hardware, uh, a later CPU, a later you know micro code for that, a, a graphics card, a Wi-Fi card. Uh, previous versions of Linux Mint, so Linux Mint 20.3, the previous one before all of these, uh, run on a much older kernel because it was running on a much older version of Ubuntu, an, an older long-term service release, two years older in fact. So something to keep in mind there, pretty much the latest and greatest, so that, that's good to see there. Uh, let's uh, have a look uh, at what else can we, we take a look at here. So I would say that we'd want to take a quick peek at the software manager because we need to be able to install apps. I mean, you can do it from the terminal if you're a pro, but uh, hey, we're not all that way inclined. So what we use is uh, pretty much the exact same software manager for all three of them. Now, hopefully this doesn't crash one of my machines because I've got too many machines open right now. But uh, you will see we've got this nice uh, software manager loading the cache for each of them. I suspect these are going to be almost exactly the same. They are using slightly different visual frameworks, but uh, once these last two ones decide to load up, because I did load them second and third, we'll get a bit of a feel, look and feel for what's happening here. But um, hey, the software manager. Now I apologize for the screen size I've got here. It's just the nature of the video. I find it hard to you know, squeeze everything in, unfortunately. But here we go. So this is almost exactly the same there. So yeah, that's where you search for your apps and you get them, 99% of which are open source and free. Sorry, 99% of them are free uh, and maybe 80% of them, 60% of them are open source. Some are proprietary, that is. So uh, one thing I did notice on the terminal, not sure if you noticed too, is the color scheme. So cinnamon uh, really keeps with that dark and green tone. So you got the green outlines, but particularly the dark mode, even with all uh, those windows there, or at least the, the terminal windows where they've kind of left a, a bit of a stock standard, non-customized white window set up for the, the remaining two. But again, a little bit of a RAM hit. It's gonna cost you for a little bit more of a beautified version of Linux Mint there. So that's pretty much it guys. I'm just gonna keep it there for now. So thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.